Hey, welcome this week to Coffee and Tools, but I'm, as you can see, I'm, I'm cold and I'm in Texas, but the ice monster has come down from Canada. Have you ever seen the ice monster? He's, he's coming this way. Wow, that ice monster is pretty scary. Uh, he's he's cold, you know. He's real cold. <laughs> it is cold here. It's it's been in the 40s, whatever. But I'm in Texas, and you know, the southern, more southern part of Texas. I thought it would be a little warmer than this, but it, hey, weather is no guarantee, right? Anyways, this this week, uh, I talked about uh, some different things with 3D printers again, and we've been looking at some uh, projects uh, in the future that are pretty exciting, but. An enclosure has been a real headache with the CR-10 and I've been trying different things and haven't really had much success. Then I, uh, someone uh, mentioned this idea and I was like, well, yeah, okay, let's try it, you know. I'm always open to some ideas and this is a big enclosure and, you know, you guys, you may or may not be able to do it. I have an, an office, a, a room in a house that's an office that controls or keeps all my computer and printers and, you know, all my stuff. And uh, so we went to an enclosure uh, so the 3D printer could be in here with me. And it, right now, since I put the enclosure, I guess you could say, put it in the enclosure, it is doing a fabulous idea. And it's pretty funny, but at the same time, it seriously does a great job and it's doing really good. Let me show you something I made uh, earlier uh, last week. Since I put the enclosure, I guess you could say, put this thing together as a project, I'm going to see uh, if you can see the bottom of that. That's, you know, this is a, just a little 3D printed uh, nut and bolt tray, I guess. And I drew this up on three, Fusion 360. And from Fusion 360, uh, this one here was one millimeter off from what it needed to be. So I had to make a couple more. And I did. But just look at the bottom of that thing and just see how mirror finished that is. And it's printed on a mirror. And the 3D, the CR10 from Creality has been through god awful times with me and I have done so much torture to the machine that to see this right now is just absolutely just amazing even to me to say this 3D printer is still doing a good job. How? You know, wow. Uh, months ago, uh, packed it up, put boxes on it, slammed it into an RV, shoved it in the back, uh, drove over 1500 miles total whatever with the trip and moved to a new house unloaded threw the thing in a corner got back to it set it up and barely did any bed leveling or anything and immediately got this kind of finish off and it's like that is nuts that is absolutely nuts and i see a lot of people uh complaining about bed leveling and problems with various printers uh, i still maintain the cr10 if you're getting into printing the cr10 is still phew, one of the fa fabulous machine absolutely can't go wrong. So <clears throat> now I'm going to jump over and let's take a look at the enclosure. Uh, there is one problem. I, I think we have a problem with this with the enclosure. So we'll take a look at it. But I'm going to have to hand hold you today because uh, I don't have the tripods and equipment in here to film. Normally this is not a place that this is not a studio in here. This is an office. So bear with me. Here we go. So yeah. So are you ready for the three, are you ready for the 3D printer that uh, is an enclosure? What it was, was this room has a small closet with these bifolding doors. And so what I did was I changed the closet and there she be. She, she's in her full scale. She's inside a closet. I took the uh, shelf back, cut it a couple inches to clear my spool. So my spool can go back up on top. Cause I really love having my spool up there. And I built a shelf about midway up, a little higher than, say, a counter, because I like the I like the height of uh, of this for the 3D. Plus, of course, the 3D printer up on top of its stands, which gives me a nice work height. And right now, as you can see, the old 3D is just a banging away at it here. But the enclosure, when I close these two doors, the heat becomes trapped, and you don't get the element of uh, cold air blowing through. So that helps the 3D printer to be really consistent. And when it lays its first layers down on the bed right now, it's just absolutely amazing. It's, it's like art, you know, just nice flat layers and they look really good and they're sticking really good to a mirror. Uh, I try to keep my hands off the mirrors at all times. I just rub it down with a good uh, soft uh, micro cloth. That's about all I do. 
And the other problem that I am seeing though, and I'm a little concerned about it, is this guy right here, the uh, control package. And that's, see that's got a fan cooling in it, so that's all right, but it is getting really relatively hot in, in the enclosure, I guess we'll call it. And at the same time, that's in there with it. So down the road, I'm thinking I may or may not have to take a look at some other projects. But right now, as you can see, take a look at that. Uh, see if I can show this to you real well. But if you can see the, uh, the line around the product that I'm building right now, you can see how the uh, leveling on the bed is so accurate that the line going down is right on the money. All the way around. It's like book perfect, you know. And I took only a few seconds to, again, level my bed with my little homemade um, knobs. Because this is an old CR-10. This is the, uh, this is kind of like the original monster. Hmm, bad word. And the, all my 3D stuff is in here. Now, future stuff, got planned. Going to put a wall plug back here inside the closet to plug into, which will be powered off of, I've got a light up here. And... When I get the outlet here, I'll be able to plug this directly. And right now I'm running on an extension cord. Kind of sad, but uh, <coughs> it's kind of a big extension cord, but uh, does the trick. And <coughs> I've got that plugged into the room here. And just run around the corner <coughs> so I can, you know, power this thing up right now and run my stuff off. But the other problem I had, and it was interesting, was this spool is all dried out. It's an old spool, and the plastic was starting to break and get brittle and everything. But since I put it inside the enclosure and I'm running with the heat and everything in here and sort of drawing the moisture, I guess, away from the room, this spool is being used. This is like the third or fourth uh, project with a spool right now, and the spool is still staying together, and it's, it's working. It hasn't broken. It hasn't frayed. It hasn't, you know, this stuff has been like just brittle. It's been snapping on me, and I'm running project after project right now, and I'm not having the problems that I have been faced with or plagued with with that particular spool. Now, it's good hatchbox uh, spooling, so I'm not blaming the company for this. This was, again, something where the packaging had been left out for months in a humid situation that's really, really bad on 3D printer. Uh, this camera's getting heavy. I'm going to have to set her down, but, <clears throat> but yeah. Now you can see why I'm saying that this is probably the world's biggest uh, 3D printer enclosure because it's a whole closet and the closet right now is set up kind of uh, dedicated to just 3D printing. It's not really used for anything else. I tell you the truth, I really didn't have any other uh, use for the closet because I have plenty of storage so there's no reason to, to do this. Uh, but since I put it in the closet, uh, just the 3D printer is doing fabulous. And in the CR-10, it's the old, like I say, it's the old original model from a little ways back is working fabulous too and the prints are coming off book perfect absolutely awesome i really probably should make the uh, benchy or something just for fun uh the old little uh boat that uh we used to do uh when we first got our printers the control package is air cooled with fans uh right now i'm watching it i'm checking it with a temperature gauge you know seeing and the control board is getting a little warm in there. It is baking in there with the machine. Bad idea. I'm thinking I might end up uh, building a, a shelf below the shelf and move the control package underneath so it's away from uh, the heat. So it's still right near the machine, but close, you know, away from the heat situation. I don't know. I haven't really decided uh, which way to go on this at this time. So uh, I just thought uh, this week, uh, there's been so much going on this week. Let's face it, the last couple of weeks, We've got Apple with uh, Big Sur, new software, Apple M1, silicone chips, new hardware. Then I use an editor called DaVinci Resolve. It came out, DaVinci Resolve 17, new stuff with it. 17.01 whatever popped up, couple of upgrades already. Uh, then they offered a great package deal with a speed editor and uh, the studio for uh, DaVinci Resolve with a one package price and things. There's just been a lot going on. The last couple of weeks, it's been it's been kind of exciting. Uh, plus, of course, we had Black Friday a little over a week ago, but um, I wasn't too uh, excited about that. Black Friday this, this year wasn't a big deal. Anyways, world's biggest enclosure for a CR-10 has got to be that closet. That is a big enclosure, but it's doing a great job. I might even put an exhaust fan in the ceiling at some point in the closet so that I can vent out if I want to run ABS or ASA or some of the more toxic type plastics. Right now I'm just running some PLA stuff 
and I have found PLA keeps surprising me. It seems to be more durable and a better plastic than what I expect out of it. So I'm pretty happy all the way around. But the enclosure itself has made that machine. It was like, it's like somebody took the machine and tweaked it up and said, let's make the machine work even like 20% better than it worked before. So, wow, what an awesome deal. Guys, Coffee and Tools here. Thanks for watching. Crazy stuff going on this week. And yeah, there it is the big enclosure for a, for a 3D printer. If you have a closet and you're not doing anything with it in your office or your back playroom, whatever, you might want to consider this possibility. This works great. <laughs>